Welcome to the Garotic Motion tutorial video on ratchets. This will be a pretty quick um, tutorial. There's not a whole lot to know about ratchets. Ratchets and recoils module um, uses the same module and number of teeth setting as the spur gears and all the other gears in order to get an approximate uh, size just so that you know when you generate them approximately how, how large they'll be. Uh, we have on this side of the screen a few settings. One is the witness ratio. Witness is the top of a um, of a tooth, and by increasing the witness ratio or decreasing the witness ratio, we increase how much is at the top of the tooth in terms of flat space. The undercut ratio sets how much of an undercut the teeth have. Uh, the radial ratio will set how, how arced the tooth actually is and has some effect on the uh, friction that various types of ratchet teeth are going to feel as they move around. And the didendum ratio simply sets the depth of the ratchet. By checking the recoil box you'll switch from a ratchet to a recoil type of uh, ramp. And by switching to clockwise you'll reverse the direction of the uh, ratchet. That's only really necessary for the simulation since a ratchet which has been cut can be flipped either way. Uh, something to note about the ratchets is the teeth that I have created for these ratchets are simply examples. It's left to the uh, imagination of the person making the actual ratchet and machining it exactly what to use as a pawl. These pawls um, are meant to grip when the uh, gear reverses itself. And you'll see the gear just reverse direction and it is now moving the pawls with the ratchet. The pawls are basically designed to be attached to another gear or another surface which you intend to rotate only when the gear is moving in one direction. Best way to exemplify this is to make one. So let's add this to the project and we now have uh, a ratchet on the project. Now it's best to add a backing plate for your ratchet because you're going to have to have something to attach it to. So we'll add a master and attach the master to the ratchet. When I do this it'll immediately flick to a top-down uh, interface because it does give you some flexibility in the distance it will be set from the ratchet. But generally with a ratchet you would attach your uh, backing plate directly to the ratchet so that if you picture cutting it now you would cut the ratchet you would cut the gear the gear would be loose on the shaft uh, which has the ratchet on it so the shaft it would normally spin the ratchet and when it's going in the appropriate direction the ratchet would then turn the gear if we turn on a periodic simulation and start the simulation you can now see the effect is that when the ratchet turns in one direction it rotates the gear with it. Now when it comes to these pawls I personally use little plastic shelf carriers uh, which I just machine a slot into the gear I poke them in and they kind of flap their way around the ratchet when it turns in one direction and when it turns in the other direction it gives me a solid motion. Uh, we'll go into this a bit more as we show the sample videos. These tutorial videos are really meant to show you how to build a particular part of your mechanism, but we'll have a few videos showing actual mechanisms as well as um, the gears being cut and then put together and how things run. In the meantime, I think that teaches you pretty much everything you need to know about a ratchet.